Your Agile team probably has a definition of done, and that's a good thing. On the other hand, a definition of ready is dangerous and something most teams should avoid. Hi, I'm Mike Cohn, and I'm the author of three best-selling books on Agile and Scrum. I help teams succeed with Agile. And right now, I can help you be more successful by convincing you not to use a definition of ready. A definition of ready acts as entry criteria for the sprint. Nothing is allowed into the sprint unless it meets that definition of ready. To see how this works, let's look at a typical definition of ready. It might include things like all acceptance criteria have been fully defined. The product backlog item has been estimated and is five points or smaller. And the user interface has been designed and approved. Nothing would be allowed into a sprint unless each of those statements is true. A definition of ready such as this can absolutely help a team avoid problems. If, for example, a team has struggled because of bringing big items into its sprints, a rule governing the maximum allowable size of an item is great. That rule will solve the problem. But there's a downside, which is that a definition of ready can prevent a team from overlapping work. Overlapping or concurrent work is a vital component of most Agile approaches. Testing, for example, should overlap coding. An Agile team doesn't delay testing until all coding is finished. To differing degrees, the same could be said of all aspects of software development. Analysis, design, testing, and coding all overlap. A definition of ready can hamper a team's agility. Think about the example I mentioned, which said an item is ready for a sprint only if all its acceptance criteria have been fully defined. That may sound fine, but it is going to prevent the overlap of work. The definition of ready is requiring that all acceptance criteria be figured out in advance. So you can't have some people build the feature at the same time as other people define the acceptance criteria. Not only is knowing the criteria in advance sometimes impossible, it's usually unnecessary. Some acceptance criteria are quite reasonably determined while the team is working on the item. As another example, Recall that the sample definition of ready I shared included that the user interface has been designed and approved. Again, including this in a definition of ready will prevent work from overlapping. This instructs team members that the user interface design must be done before any other work can begin. Think of any definition of ready as a gate into the sprint through which work must pass. Only certain types of work can pass through this readiness gate. It makes sense to picture your definition of ready as a gate because the whole idea really is nothing more than a step back toward a waterfall or stage gate process. So is a definition of ready always a bad idea? No, it's not. You may want to consider a definition of ready to call out dependencies on other teams, especially if those teams frequently fail to deliver to you when they say they will. Suppose your team is dependent on something my team is building. We promise to give it to you by Tuesday, but Tuesday comes and goes and my team gives you nothing. Wednesday comes and goes, Thursday, Friday, a week goes by. My team finally gives you what we promised, but way too late for you to use it and finish whatever you committed to in the current sprint. If my team does this too often, you may want to have a definition of ready that says you won't bring anything into your sprint that is still waiting on something from my team. If my team owes you something to do your work, you want it in hand before the sprint starts because of how often my team has jammed you up. Note that this is absolutely an example of how a definition of ready prevents overlapping work. It's less agile than if we could overlap work. But in this example, my team has let you down so often, you'll put in place a definition of ready to stop it from happening again. While we'll be less agile because of this, I think this is a good use of a definition of ready. After all, your team has stakeholders you need to keep happy. And when your promises to them about what you'll deliver are destroyed by my team not delivering to you, it's very reasonable for your team to stop overlapping work with my team. If you absolutely feel you need a definition of ready, I recommend structuring it as a set of guidelines rather than rules. Consider a definition of ready that says before anything can be started, any new or changed screens must be designed and the designs approved. This rule will prevent overlapping work. 
A better variation would be to say something like rough mock-ups of any new screens have been started and are just far enough along that the team can resolve remaining open issues during the sprint. This is a guideline. It will still allow work to overlap. The mock-ups need to be far enough along that team members think they can resolve issues during the sprint. In some cases, that could mean no more than a mock-up on a whiteboard. In others, it could mean an elaborate, nearly complete mock-up. Does your team use a definition already? What's included in it? And have you been able to continue overlapping work even with a definition of ready? I'd love to read about your experiences. So please share them in the comments. And please do me a favor. If this video has been useful, click the like button. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe so you don't miss out on future tips to help you succeed with Agile. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.